A decade ago, in a small village, they shared a dream. A dream so wild it couldn't be stopped. A dream that became a legend. We were a tight-knit community, as most mining communities are. One by one, they've closed down. It was a Thursday. Jan was working. She said, I'm going to breed a racehorse. So I picked the pints up and said, good luck. When I look back now, I don't know how I did it. And here we have Topville, the 20th century thoroughbred horse. These sort of people, they like to keep us commoners out, I think. We put a sign up on the wall. Anybody wants to join a syndicate of resource ownership, speak to Jan. I don't know nothing about horses. I don't. The syndicate came together for one simple reason. They wanted to see if it could work. John said, we're all in an alliance. This is our dream. We name it Dream Alliance. Dream Alliance! This big chap with tattoos everywhere said, we've got a horse to have in training. He was a working class horse that was about to take on the likes of the best. He was now mixing it with the big time. He looked classy. 40 horses, and you got eyes for one. Come on, Dream. Come on, Dream. Come on, Dream. He always made me feel somebody else for the day. I wasn't Janet the cleaner anymore. I was Janet the resource owner. It's elation when you can do something, particularly when no one gives you a chance. <laughs> 